Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through analog conversion of analog data to digital signal. So you may ask me that what is this analog data and what is the digital signal? So analog data is nothing but it will be in this format guys. It will be in this format. Okay. So if you take a small example, this could be an analog signal. So analog signal or analog data, fine. So it will be in this format. Okay, so you will be converting this into a digital signal. So you'll be just to draw if you just to draw some bars like this. So that could be a digital signal, right? So that is what we'll be doing here, guys. Okay, so this is the method in which we'll be representing the digital data to digital signal. Okay, so we will be using decoding and encoding, guys. So we, we are, will be having two methods to doing this, guys. So the first method is plus amplitude mod modulation and plus code modulation. So these are the two methods which we will be solving, which we'll be using. The plus amplitude modification is shortcutly called as PAM, PAM. So initially we will be, it takes analog signal sample. It generates a series of pulses. So I told you, right? So this kind of bars. So that what we call, we call, we call it as pulses based on the result of the stamping. Okay. So here sampling measures the amplitude of the signal to equal intervals. PAM uses a technique called as sample and hold so here if you observe the signal so for that we have just to draw on the lines guys if you just join them you'll be getting the signal fine I, I hope you are getting the signal so this is the first method of converting the digital signal or analog data to digital signal fine so that's it right analog data to digital signal fine Okay, so the second method is a bit advanced guys because this method is not so used because are we getting any accurate guys? So if you observe this, is this accurate? Yes, this is accurate, right? So this in this way we should get guys. So that is the reason why we will not use this method. So for this method, if you continue few steps, you'll be getting in that way. Fine. Okay, so pulse code modulation. So to overcome the disadvantage of a PAM, we use CPCM that is nothing but pulse code modulation. So this PCM is the first step in PCM. PAM is the first step in PCM. So we'll be doing the same step, but we'll be modifying some more things. So PCM modifies the pulse created by the PAM to create a completely digital signal. So steps are nothing but sampling, quantization and line coding. So sampling is nothing but which we have done previously. Line coding is nothing but which we have discussed previously. So this is a new step which we'll be doing here. So now let us go through the discussion. Okay, sampling. Sampling is nothing but number of samples of the signal are taken at regular intervals of time of a high frequency of the signal. So quantization. Quantization is nothing but we will be start giving the numbers and we will be trying to convert it to the binary. So the amplitude is written in the binary format. So we will be converting it to the binary and after that line coding. Line coding is nothing but which we have discussed previously which we will be converting the digital data or digital code to digital signal. So we'll be getting digital signal after here, we'll be converting it to line coding. So if you take a small example, it will be in this format guys. So initially we'll be passing it to the PAM. So we'll be getting the signal that is nothing but sampling signal. So this sampling signal is passed to the quantization to get the binary code. So once we get the binary code, we'll be passing it to the line coding to get the final digital signal. So I hope everyone got a small idea. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going through digital data to analog signal. Thank you. Thanks for watching.